party. So let me ask you, when it comes to the markets, is the Tea Party and this victory in Delaware good news or bad news? You know, in a strange sort of way, I think it's good news. And I think it's good news because it, first of all, indicates passion, but it's passion on the part of the Republican Party, but the, the, the voters. And the passion is, look, we're kind of tired, we're fed up with um, big government and raising taxes, raising taxes, of course, being the most important issue of the day. So I think it sends a message to Washington in general, Republicans and Democrats alike, that there are at least some folks out there that are pretty tired of this bigger government, government in our lives, and certainly higher taxes, which, as I say, is the most important issue right now. That's a great message for the markets or a great mes message for the Obama administration, and hopefully they're going to take it seriously. So in some sort of a strange, convoluted way, it's on balance yeah. or positive. Andy, do you agree with that? Is it good news for the markets? Well, certainly uh, the stance by the Tea Party candidate of a capital gains elimination for two years is wonderful for the markets. I think the central point or the salient point of the victory is not that this candidate is flawed. I mean, all, a lot of politicians are flawed as human beings are. But the point is, is that there is an energized base that is pulling the conversation towards this stance of, of, of fiscal responsibility, but also business-friendly and market-friendly policies. We've already seen it with President Obama coming out last week with his first steps towards assisting businesses with his speeded-up depreciation schedules. That's the direction that the nation needs to go in to really recover strongly, and that's the direction that the markets really want to hear, and we're hearing it, so that's great. I mean, Hugh, for, for all the things you said, all the reasons you said, and all the reasons Andy Bush said, and you guys agree, and I, I am totally with you on this. We're looking at a configured conservative Congress, right? We don't know if the Republicans can take the Senate. That's going to be close. It looks like they're going to take the House big time. That's a conservative Congress. And as Andy said, that's going to be pro-growth, pro-business, anti-spend, anti-tax use. Now, what is the stock market implication of a newbie conservative Congress? Well, my judgment, it's, it's on balance. It's going to be positive because the most important of all the issues we've talked about is really the extension of the, uh, the Bush tax cuts. And in my judgment, there's not much chance at all under the current configuration of getting the extension of the Bush tax cuts, obviously, for those over 250,000. But if you start to change the makeup of Congress, if you start to put the Republicans in charge of the House of Representatives, I think there's a really good chance that we could have, maybe for only one year, but we could have the extension of those tax cuts. And right now, when the economy is sort of weak, the growth, the recovery is anemic, it really still needs some help. And the worst thing that could happen right now, in my judgment, is to raise taxes on those making over $250,000, which will affect a whole lot of small business. Yeah. LLC businesses, for example. Well, it's so a it's big a issue, but Andy, don't you want what? it all? What? I mean, don't you want the House and the Senate? <laughs> yeah. You know what? It, that would be great, except really the, the most important point here, I, 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 and I agree with Larry on the conservative nature of Congress, that's wonderful. But really what we need is we need President Obama to understand that the policies they've engaged in up to this point are not creating jobs, they're not creating economic growth, to the extent that we need, and we need the president to come along with that Congress because he can veto everything and that they bet, put out Andy? there. Do you so think? Do you think he'll do my that? My bet is. He Here's what I think is going to happen over the next year. He's going to sit down with Michelle and the kids and go, gosh, this is a wonderful place to live. I think we want to stay here over the next two years. I wouldn't and be so beyond. sure. I, and yeah, I'm that's not so where sure. they're going to go. They're going to so come sure. to the middle, and that's what I think, I they're, think he's so. going to here's do. What, I can only hope that that's Here's what I'm hearing, Andy, okay? You're spinning a nice, lovely tale that he's going to morph into Bill Clinton. But what I'm hearing exactly. is when Rahm Emanuel goes back to run for mayor of Chicago, the new chief of staff could be Valerie Jarrett. That's not who you want. Yes. She is she That's, is part of that left wing yeah. Chicago cabal. And, That's not who and you to want. Some extent, the so that I have no Goolsby evidence yet that the they're going to do that. Is, is oh, not the so. direction. Austin Goolsby as the CEA guy is not really the direction I was hoping. I was hoping the president would bring in somebody um, and, and really goose up his economic team to bring in real world experience, somebody who's run a corporation. That would be very helpful and that would take us a step towards what I but, hope. You know, guys, is neither of you have answered 
the done. question I said, you know, don't you want it all? Hugh, aren't you somewhat concerned here that it's really jeopardizing the Senate for the Republicans, therefore that jeopardizes the market, the economy overall come November? No, you have no question about it. It would be wishful thinking to ask for both the Senate and the House of Representatives. I don't think we're going to get that. I'm just saying, I think the important point here is not the control of the House, not the control of the Senate. That's important. But the fact is, is that the voters in many cases, Alaska, other places, have sent a fairly strong message to the administration. Larry asked the right question, and that is, really, will the Obama administration both get the message and right. respond to the message? And yeah. frankly, I'm a little skeptical. No, I, I think, Andy, it's a little wishful thinking. There's going to be confrontations, but yeah. it's going oh, to be bet. a conservative Congress. The Democrats are going to move towards the center. The yeah. question is whether the president will. For what it's no, worth, he, by I the way. I bet no. This, I, uh, well, the, I think he would, though, right? I, I think the depreciation is, is a sideshow. You would think that. I just want to say that, Christine, uh, all the establishment pundits and the Republican National Committee, they don't think Christine O'Donnell can win in Delaware, okay? I just want to say this. The establishment pundits have been wrong all year That's about true. the power of the Tea Party. And for what That's it's true. worth, for what it's worth, Newt Gingrich tweeted this morning that she can win in Delaware, and he was down in Delaware during this election. So I want to see what happens. That's what I want to see what happens. Well, we will. All right, I got to get out. When we